All right, good morning, guys. We are in California, and I'm about to go and get a quick cardio session downstairs at the gym here. So, and what I have on the agenda for today is I'm doing a, a workout. I have to do an interview at Gold's Gym, so. I'm gonna uh, get this training in and get my fasted cardio done because that's what we do as we wake up in the morning. So thank you all for everyone that's been following on JTV. I'm gonna try some different stuff and do some vlogging stuff even though this is from my, my iPhone. I don't really use a camera that much so I'm just gonna see how it goes, see what the feedback is on this and see if it's worth uh, continuing to do something like this uh, vlogging style so this video is gonna be a little different and it is mid-march and we're getting this work done because that's what we do stay tuned all right so we are staying at the Ritz Carlton I'm gonna show you guys uh, show you guys the uh, the pool area where the gym is located down here. What a beautiful view. Beautiful day out here in sunny Marina Del Rey. You guys that haven't got a chance to visit California, make sure you guys can check it out, okay? I'll show you guys the gym in a second. As you can see, the water is the towers. So heading over to Gold's Gym. Going to do this interview real quick before I start uh, training, which I don't even know what I'm going to train today. Isn't it crazy? Like I go to the gym and I never even know what I'm going to train half the time until I get there. I kind of go with the flow. So let's see, I did, uh, I did shoulders last before I left Vegas. And I would figure maybe some back training today, even though I think I just filmed some back training. But... You know, it is Saturday. I'm kind of debating on whether how busy the gym is going to be. It's a beautiful day, so I think a lot of people are at the beach today. Everyone's out in shorts and sleeveless shirts and t-shirts and everything out. So I just got to report that Vegas is a little cold, so I go back there tonight. But uh, we checked out a hotel and off to Gold's Gym, the Mecca bodybuilding. So stay tuned. Yeah, he's there. Here, please. Okay? okay. Right, okay Next. Yeah. All right, brother. Thank you. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Hey, Rico. Thank you. Turn yourself, Dave. You too, buddy. Thanks, 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 do that again. This is this is the greeting I get when I walk in Gold Venice. Right. And he's like, what up? Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Now that's a full-time bodybuilder if I ever saw one. He is a full-time bodybuilder, this guy. He right. lives here. It's worse than me. He's here all day, man. There you go, Jeff. Yeah. Right. Well, he's focused, man, but he's a business guy. Oh. Like, this is his stepping stone to the business world. That's a full-time bodybuilder right there. Come on. <laughs> Let's see it. Okay. <laughs> this, is, this is what you see when you're walking cold fennis. There's bodies everywhere. <laughs> yes. Where, where's your cup? <laughs> it's on film? Yeah, it's on film. Where's my cup? Yeah, where's your cup? I don't cup? know. You, didn't, you took all my cups. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you got it right in there. I only I only have a hundred thousand cups in my warehouse. <laughs> you think it's a problem? If I don't have a cup in LA. It's a big problem. What so we... what, what we're gonna do is we're mixing I mean he, these guys know the drill by now. That's a stupid question. But ask me why my amplifier is in a bag. Yeah, why is it in the bag? Because I had to give my actual container to my to Josh that shoots the content. Oh really? Because he wanted to take pictures of the products in the gym for our for our digital ads. So he took the Wow. So we're gonna take uh, two scoops of amplify. I can't believe you don't even put one drop out. I can't Why? do this. Because I spill all over when I do this in the bottle. Dude, I, I've been doing this for how many years? Yeah, I don't look at that. I've been doing this for twenty five years. You're a pro at it. I was going to say, as soon as I said that, I was going to spill it. <laughs> you think this is eight ounces of water? That's the question. Yeah, no. probably. Yeah, yeah. No. Small bottle. All right, today we're going to kill it with uh, Mr. Bakery Barn here. Sean with an S. Yes. <laughs> I see you here. I just, I just threw him on JD. I said, this guy's a full-time bodybuilder. <laughs> He's an adopted Italian. Is this your protege or what? Uh, I, I meant to. Joey, <laughs> Joey doesn't want to claim him. He's like, ah. Uh, oh, uh. Hello, brother. He's good. Is he from Chicago, too, or no? no. One from race. To <laughs> yeah. The kid's never been on an airplane. Do you train at Metroplex? <laughs> no. And that, that was the after I moved. I trained oh. the US in uh, Marietta Hospital. Okay. This is, uh, 24? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta get this guy to talk. He's trying to fall in love with every girl in the oh, gym. Nice. And, it's okay to fall in love with them, just as long as it doesn't last a couple, three days. Yeah. He's going to have some of those and Joey's. Yeah? Well, listen, I saw Joey when he first came out here a long time ago. Yeah, you talk about that. Before he was Joey Swole. You actually introduced yourself as Joey uh, Sergo, yeah. Right? Yeah, Joey Sergo is his name. I mean, I, I had the name. But I was, I was... You weren't going to explain why Instagram didn't exist now. No. <laughs> 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 what do you call them? I do
When was his last show? The Cali Pro or is that his last one? No, he did uh, most of it. Okay. I saw him at Cali Pro last year though, right? Yeah. yeah. with just two weeks out from the Indie Pro. You look good, man. Thanks, man. Me and Dave, we've been working hard to bring it in. Should, should be our best showing yet. Coming in about the same weight as last year. Better conditioning and the tighter gut. So what, 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 what weight is exactly that? What, they what do you weigh? I mean, between 240, 240, 245, somewhere in there. Awesome. Yeah. Really happy we're at it two weeks out. Um, again, what Dave just pointed out, the, uh, the midsection control is what we really worked on the offseason. Bring up the density to the back and the roundness, and uh, again, I can't be out here too. Right Dorian, you're from Colorado, right? Uh huh, living in Denver area. And you have a real job over there. <laughs> I'm a chiropractor, yeah. <laughs> Tell me about chiropractor, it. Chiropractor, trainer, I'm a coach, nutritionist, physician. <laughs> wow. Musician. Wow. Uh, I run my practice, Cairo Omega at Armbrist Pro Gym. I've been practicing out of there for like six years now. Wow. Uh, great environment, a lot of good uh, people to work on in there. So that's where the, that's the gym where Phil trains in Colorado. Yeah. Awesome. That was actually my neighbor back there. He's right next to me. Really appreciate that, Jake. All right. Very cool, Dorian. Watch for this guy. Two weeks out from the Indie Pro. And uh, good luck, man. Thanks. You look great. It. All right, so cable crossover is going to be the third exercise. This exercise still 10 to 12 repetitions, but ideally, because we did a lot of pressing movements, I still think it's important to stretch the fascia, open up the tissue, allow more blood flow. So I always like to do pumping exercises and then stretch it and then maybe go back to one more pump exercise to really get that extra blood in there. But you're not gonna get a pumped muscle unless the fibers are stretchable, which means the fascia needs to be stretched. That's why I always encourage massage therapy, stretching between sets, and more importantly, things that open up the tissue through the workout, it's super important. All right, so guys, we talked about the cable crossover, although it's not always a crossover. It's just about bringing in and contracting the chest muscles, really trying to focus on squeezing at the end. Sometimes it's good to hold that and really get that contraction. But remember, repetitions is the key. So you have to get the reps in to keep the blood flow going. Okay, great, great finisher movement, but also not just dedicated to only as a finisher. You can do this as a growing exercise, too. While wearing your Cutler Athletics t-shirt. <laughs> that he custom cut himself. <laughs> custom cut for that 80s look. Yes. I was gonna wear my floppy socks today. <laughs> Couldn't find them. Not 20 reps though. Right. We got a flex in there? Flex that shit, bro. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> if you got it, you gotta fall on it. Hell yeah. Hey, what's your fun? I said, Come on, man. Four desserts. Four desserts. All right, number one movement for triceps is going to be the dip, okay? I always mention that. Yeah, this exercise, uh, 10 or 12 repetitions, really the, one of the few exercises that you actually lock the, the triceps out, really get that contraction there, okay? And, uh, this is our second movement, but 
one of the power movements I think really great for developing that cap for the tri side tricep shots. Of course. <laughs> Hi, right, my boy Big Dave over here. Long time, bro. It's been a long time. So I was just telling yeah. him, I did the Tournament of Champions in 95. Actually, some of the pictures on the wall here, like when I was competing on that. And he won in 94. I won in 95. I remember seeing him in like Muscle Mag winning the show. And I'm like, man, I want to be like this guy and win the show in California because he was getting publicity and going into the national circuit then. And dude, I've seen you around for 20 yeah, plus almost, years. Almost 20 years, for sure. Been a long time. And he's still at it. Show these arms, still, 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 still trying. He, Look always at had, he always had great <laughs> arms, this guy. <laughs> Unbelievable. And, uh, so he's going to do a, a competition, so we want to get him on the channel for uh, that motivation to all those guys. You look crazy, bro. Thanks. You better let us know, man. Yep, still trying to finish the goal. So. I don't know what's the yeah. goal, though. I'm just trying to get the damn pro card. Is it ever going to stop? Then what's happen once you get the pro card? You always, you always well, say, yeah, I mean, you know. people always say, oh, yeah, I just want to get the card. Yeah, and it's like... Then we'll still have an old man class. Like, yeah. in, Why know? do you tr still train? What is the fire that makes you still want to compete and train to be like you are? Well, the training part, I just love it. I've been training since I was 12 years old. How many days a week you train right now? Five, sometimes six days a week. You don't have to take a step back even with your age. No, I mean, I feel great. I don't feel, I feel I'm 45, great. I don't feel 45. Yeah, well, I had a double hip replacement two years ago. Okay. At the same time, man, I was filleted open. And how is it now? Brand new. It's like Tito Raymond. Yeah, brand new. Double same hips thing. Too. Yeah. Mine was like great. about six, eight months He's after. He's squatting like four plates again. Yeah. Well, he motivates me. I see him in here, I'm like, damn, I gotta get my ass going. <laughs> well, we're gonna track your progress yeah. while we're Thanks, Big D. Yeah, yeah we're gonna get you on film too, man. Yeah, yeah. Better yeah, let sure. us know. Yes, yeah, so I was just telling this girl who came up to me that sells memberships here and she's like, I would love a picture with you. How do you get a workout in here? But I told her, I said, when I was 19, I walked in this gym and I remember walking through here and I remember looking up at the wall and at the time it stopped at Doring Yates, right? Because he was the champ at the time. I'm like, man, if I could ever have my picture on the wall, I would explain to her how my picture's up there now. And it's just crazy to be here for that many years. That was 93, you know? Oh, oh my God! Did he convert him? The damn thing was so overweight because I had so many. I know. I told him you can't be asked. Laura said you're not just looking for a video. She's really coming better. She's getting better. She had some health problems. Yeah, but she's coming up. How much do I ask about this? All the time, bro. What's a snapping? <laughs> That's what he says. What's going on with what's snapping? Track you down. <laughs> oh. Do you know I was here? Yeah, well, I, I, my BSP. He says, "Oh, we're gonna go down there. Jay's gonna be there." I said, "No." Yeah, we're yeah. filming today for JTV. <laughs> Who is this, Jay? <laughs> this is this is Mr. Pittsburgh. This is Vinny B. Da Dave Enders. If I had a dollar for every time someone comes up to me in the gym, this is like. Uh, is that Jay Cutler? That's yes. no, not Jay Cutler. I never, I never. <laughs> what's this happening? Yes. <laughs> Dude, how I are ask, you? I ask you. for you all the time. He I does do. all the By time. Him, well, like, he doesn't say anything to me. How would he? How would I never me? see you. Why? Okay. I don't see him anymore. Than <laughs> you don't live in Newport. You just so. assume. Yeah. yeah all, I was just there for seeing I my. I picked him up at the train company. station in Irvine and drove up here. Are you standing the same? How we were with, was crappy last no, time? You, he's, you moved. He's okay. You poor coast. Yeah, that was still nice. Still in the same house. Still in the neighborhood. Yeah. Okay. I had to get a picture with you. Ed Connors, the legend, Jay. We love this guy. What? Ed's the reason I became Jay Cutler. So it's your fault he became a bodybuilder. Yes. <laughs> <You're taking laughs> a full-time bodybuilder, I might say. Ed's that. office was right there. Yeah. And we'd, yeah. Meet, we'd, we'd meet after 5 o'clock to go to the movies every night when I oh, stayed out Oh, man. <laughs> what, like, house guest, house guest, house guest. What are the odds that we'd be here today and Ed and Dave hey, show how's up? How's this? 
But there's a story as Dave Enders came and never never left. Yeah. He he came from Pittsburgh and he never went home. How's that? <laughs> I winter, went home at least. He the went home and came back. The winter's too home. nice here. Yeah. Right, okay, I get remember that. Yeah. I remember that. The famous railing. <laughs> when was this? 19, 1998. That's his house. I still know the. All I have to do is look at the house. Wow. This is this is a wonderful picture. Wow, it's crazy. How old were you there? It's 24. Wow. Yeah. You just Probably. turned pro, right? Jay, you wouldn't get married till you turned pro, right, Jay? I didn't get married till, uh, yeah, I got married in 98. I turned pro in 96. Yeah, yeah. yeah I remember you saying that. Business, business. Where is this in your, in your, your, room? your living room? room. Yeah. House, yeah. <laughs> wow. It's this was 99, stuff. though. Okay, well. That's 99. Yeah, it was all. I would have big legs there. Yeah, wow. But, Impressive. Uh, yeah, this the, is like 98, yeah, I think. Keep, and the, there's some there's some magazine tear sheets wow. in here that I don't know if you ever you know remember that stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The advertising. I don't, I don't know how much you have. You probably have more than most. You kept. Well, wow. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome, awesome man. I've got more in the, in, in Vegas, but this is what I happen to have. In That's Houston. awesome, man. I appreciate that. Yeah. All right, so I just finished the workout. <laughs> What do you think, Dave? You got some good stuff for GTV, that's what I think. So Dave is the man behind the camera. Sorry about my shaky camera. This isn't <laughs> this isn't shit, you know. this isn't a Samsung, but <laughs> so Dave is what I consider a full-time bodybuilder. He hates that. I'm gonna make him a shirt. But you know why I love Dave? He always is representing. Look at Swole Monkey, Cutler Nutrition. <laughs> that's right. But I this is a man. And I want to get Dave on the channel to kind of explain his story because if you guys actually heard the story of him moving to California and where he came from and how he started, he's one of these success stories that he moved out here with every dollar in his pocket, which was how much? By the time I was in Cali, I had 150. He had 150 American. bucks <laughs> to start my life here. And he stayed with people. He right. stayed with a family friend or something, right? Yeah. yeah. And he's living the dream in California. He wakes up every day and he calls me. He's like, dude, now I know why I live in California. <laughs> That's right. So, And I work with this guy. Stay, so I got the dream job. Stay, dream stay tuned. So we'll keep you guys posted. But I hope you guys enjoy the video of us training today. No pancakes today. Uh, I'm watching this guy eat the pancakes down here. So I'm on a health kick today. I'm trying to stay lean and mean. I'm trying to be a good influence for all those young guys out there. That looks good. Chicken so fine. Nice. Obstacles. <laughs> I can't believe that thing can actually carry your 245 Zoom pounds. Zoom it too. Yeah, 240. <laughs> Zoom it. <laughs> Boom. All right, so outside the Mecca has finished up a pretty pretty cool day filled with a lot of stuff. And, you know, I did something different, guys, with this, um, with the vlog style, which I don't usually do, and I kind of want some feedback on it. So please comment below if you guys kind of like that a little bit. Because I know a lot of people have been hitting me up about the vlogs and... You know, today we just, you know, you saw I did my cardio this morning and, you know, I kind of drove over here and, and uh, trained at Gold's Venice and I got to do, uh, you know, a little eating after and, of course, riding the, uh, the little scooters, which everyone's like, man, I can't believe you can ride those things. But, <laughs> you know, another another uh, productive day. I mean, I kind of came out here for a couple meetings, but more to continue to shoot this content just in different atmospheres here last weekend. We ever put out a video doing that. Um, this is, you know, where I walked in the gym, you know, for the first time at 19. Uh, won a ticket uh, for $99 round trip on American Airlines. I remember in the Boston Globe, uh, which was a newspaper in Massachusetts, and I was able to get uh, a misprint 
deal and of course they had to honor the ad so I was able to come out here for the first time Ed Connors actually um, I met him in the gym and you know at the time he owned Gold's gym and you know I saw those pictures on the wall and I'm like man if I could ever be out here it'd be really really awesome and uh, now here I am like 20 years later just like kind of like a have my place on the wall and still training and you saw a million people come to me today in the gym which is awesome still inspiring which is you know all the blessings I've had in bodybuilding as far as accolades and titles and all the great endorsement deals and all the great, great things I did to leave my mark and influence others in a positive way that's kind of what I get out of it now and uh, that's what drives me every day so between all the great social media comments all the emails uh, responses to all my J-mail um, I'm launching the J Cutler Club soon uh, you know, I have the new product line that just launched out. I've had so much tremendous support. The line is just exploding up, which is crazy. People still wearing all my Cutler Athletic stuff, as you see here, my vintage shirt. Um, it's just awesome to have so many supporters and have you guys continue to follow the channel and, you know, be able to showcase some of these people that are competing and give people the opportunity to have a platform. But I encourage still everyone, I say this all the time, tell your story. Get on your YouTube, make a YouTube channel. Just put out content, man. You never know where it's gonna take you. Everyone starts from zero, remember that. And uh, believe in yourself, You know, showcase your talents, because every single person that's sitting there watching this video right now has a talent that is a positive influence to someone, okay? So don't ever think that you're not worthy in order to share your story or share your content, share your transformation. And we all do certain things for certain reasons. I didn't just wake up one day and want to be a professional bodybuilder. I mean, I, I saw it, I fell in love with it. I love the workouts, I love the stress relief that it gives me. And that's what I do on a daily basis. I mean, I like I mentioned before, I don't necessarily have body goals. I want to stay lean, I'm not trying to be bigger. I never measured my arms in the past 15 years. Uh, I rare, rarely weigh myself. Um, I rarely pose for myself in the mirror anymore. It's it's more just about how I feel when I work out, and I just love training. So stay on it, guys. Keep commenting, and if you're not subscribing, please subscribe uh, to this. But please leave us a comment. You know, please leave us a comment. Uh, it's it's a great opportunity to be on this level to be able to communicate with everyone out there. So we appreciate all the support, and uh, shout out to everyone that that keeps uh, believing and keeps following our stuff. And, We'll see you guys on the next video. Yeah. All right, guys, they might make six. We are at the Mecca, and I had to add this little segment of the shoot video content we shot this Saturday with Jay. It's our good friend, Keith Davis. Keith, welcome to Muscle Beach TV, man. <laughs> Finally, you, this guy. <laughs> it's great to be here. It's been three years since we've been here, Dave. Okay, so let me tell a little backstory about Keith. Keith has been one of the biggest supporters of Jay's career, and I remember that before every single Mr. Olympia. He would send some gifts, he would send some things to motivate the champs, a Rocky shirt. He still does that every birthday. Uh, he, for my birthday, for Jay's birthday, he's unbelievable. He watches Rocky movies, sends me the segment. I love this guy. He's been such a cool supporter and such a great guy, Keith. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. And uh, talk about why have you done that all these years? Why? I mean, most people don't do that. They just, you know, they're all their fans, but you always took the time to send little things and just why do you do that it's so nice you know well first of all dave and jay everyone already knows are just they're, they're the, the best they're the greatest and they really are the pioneers of this this sport i mean everybody who body builds or weight lifts or exercises honestly dave they do it for motivation they do it for something that it's intrinsically means something to themselves you guys inspire them i mean you guys work your tails off to make sure that people you know are inspired you people don't even know and jay's i know jay has said it many times but what Dave does, Dave does behind the camera, what he does at his time, his effort, his work, plus bodybuilding. I mean, look at the guy, he's amazing. He does all of this for the fans. He does this all of this for everyone to be inspired. So, I mean, it's, I do what I do because I'm so appreciative. I mean, Jay is one of those humble guys. I know. You know, it's, it's very few, I think, times in your lifetime that you'll experience, you know, a Michael Jordan or a Tiger Woods. You know, in bodybuilding, it's Jay Cutler. Yeah. Jay Cutler is the guy that really does, I think, stand above everyone else. They're uh, great champions, no doubt. I'm from Texas, Ronnie Coleman. Yeah. You know, eight-time Mr. Olympia. You know, but Jay is special. You know, Jay doesn't know a stranger. Jay will stop in the middle of a meal, in the middle of a workout, to talk to people and, and motivate them. 
Uh, so it's a, it, it's really an easy answer. It's, wow. you know, I do it because he does. You know, he, wow. he really sets the example. That's a good answer, and I agree with you. I, 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 I'm a fan of Jay as an athlete, but I think I'm a much bigger fan of him as a person. Because he just wants to make you a better human being, it seems. He's just, you know, so giving, like I said before, so giving with his time and his, his, his knowledge, his, his money. It's just, it's just uh, he's always giving back all the time. People always wonder why is he so successful. That's probably why. Yeah. Because he's so giving that it just gets back to him tenfold. There's, 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 there's no sense. question. You know, I have, yeah. a, I have a, a, one of many photos signed by him, and he wrote on there, you know, you get what you put into it. Yeah. And, and that really, in my opinion, is, is how he kind of lives his life. You know, he gets what he puts into it. He's very successful because to your point, Dave, that's right. he gives so much. Yeah. You know, you're successful because you give so much. I mean, there's always an easier road and you guys never take it. You always you always go over and above. It's so appreciated. Okay, I'm so glad I got to catch you today. This is his last thing. Venice is actually going to go in San Diego and just touring a little bit. He was in Vegas, so we kind of crossed each other, but today we're about to connect. And I'm so happy and so grateful. And Keith and I have discussed it, Jay. We have to get you that scale for your birthday. So August, expect it, and it has to be on camera. He already said it. It's for the comeback. <laughs> Thank you so much, brother. Love you, Thank buddy. you, Dave. Love you, man. Bye. Thank you, guys.